how Mohammed bin Salman spends his $2 trillion fortune. When it comes to the lavishness of life, no one stands near the royal family of Saudi Arabia. The combined net worth of the Saudi royal family is $1.4 trillion. The biggest source of their wealth is oil and gas reserves, while investments, real estate, and media too are sources of their wealth. The Saudi royal family has over 15,000 members, although the majority of the power is in the hands of around 2,000 members, and their huge wealth is divided between them. Many princes and members use this wealth to wield political and economic influence. Hello everyone and welcome back to Money Tree. Today we are talking about Mohammed bin Salman, the 33-year-old crown prince of Saudi Arabia. Are you ready to know all about it? Without delaying any further, let's get started and please make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any new updates from our channel. When it involves the topic of cash, no family on earth comes even near the mega-rich House of Saud. Its 1,500 members are said to be worth a collective 1 trillion euro, that's nearly 16 times the British royal family's fortune. The Saudis were actually a bit poor by world standards before oil was discovered in the Middle East. Obviously, the royals were wealthier than other families because they led the country, but this area isn't that productive. Few metals, hot temperatures, little water, and scarce food naturally over much of the region. But the insane amount of wealth didn't hit until the OPEC oil embargo in the 1970s and the quadrupling of oil prices. That led to a massive inflow of money into Saudi Arabia, and the royal families owned most of it and they certainly know the way to spend it with a group of palaces, super yachts, and personal jets which are the envy of many a mere billionaire. Their riches stem from the vast oil reserves uncovered in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia over 75 years ago during the reign of King Abdulaziz bin Saud. The country's state-owned gas and petroleum company, Saudi Aramco, is now the foremost profitable in the world with annual revenues at tens of billions. However, like their British counterparts, the members of the Saudi royal house are notoriously private about their fortune. Saudi Arabia, since its founding, has been ruled by a sprawling group of royals who have had to share power and build consensus. Often, various factions disagree, but in his rise to power, MBS proved unsparing in his vanquishing of any potential opposition and his consolidation of power. He ultimately leapfrogged over his cousin to become the prince, and some months later had numerous royals jailed in a very 2017 corruption purge. Said to be near his father, the prince has become Saudi Arabia's de facto ruler. He was the force behind many of the country's recent reforms, including a 2017 edict allowing women to drive. And since his youth, his influence and lavish spending is probably going to be felt for an extended time to come back. MBS is the eighth child of King Solomon, and therefore the first of his mother, the king's third wife. As a young person, he loves skydiving and video games, including the Age of Empires series. Unlike a number of his siblings, MBS failed to go abroad to England or France for schooling. He stayed in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and his presence helped him to learn in great depth about the frailties of his rivals within the royal line, per blood and oil. When he was 15, he learned from a cousin that his father had not amassed a heavy fortune, despite decades in office, and had become dangerously indebted to princes and businessmen. The prince got an academic degree in law from King Saud University, the oldest university in the Asian country. After graduating, he worked for several state agencies before being appointed as a special advisor to his father in 2009, who was serving as governor of Riyadh at the time. In 2012, Prince Muhammad's father was named prince after the death of Nayef bin Abdulaziz. Three years later, King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz died, and therefore the prince's father took the throne at the age of 79. Prince Muhammad isn't yet king, but he essentially runs the country for his father, 83-year-old King Salman bin Abdulaziz. But what's known appears to point out that when it's involving getting what they needed, money really isn't an object. It's even rumored one amongst the family's many palaces is clothed with gold furniture, complete with gold-plated tissue dispenser. Among the most important spenders is Prince Mohammed bin Salman, who is the general public face of the vast royal line. The 34-year-old has already said about improving the kingdom's human rights record and giving women more liberty. And it's rumored to be involved in a very big bucks deal to shop for Newcastle United, following a failed bid for Manchester United. He's known for his lavish spending and, in recent years, bought a 400 million pound yacht, a 230 million pound French chateau, and perhaps even a 375 million pound Leonardo da Vinci painting. 
The Prince reportedly owns a 440-foot yacht named Serene, which incorporates an internal athletic facility and jacuzzi, two helipads, a helicopter hangar, a gym, and movies. The Prince also owns an enormous holiday compound in the south of Spain, protected by armed guards. In 2015, the Globe was left stunned when an unnamed buyer splashed 230 million pounds on a surprising chateau in France, just west of Paris. At the time, it absolutely was recorded to be the world's most costly house sale. Two years later, reports emerged that the customer was Ben Salman, who fell enamored with the 50,000 area unit Chateau Sun King on a peace trip. The property boasts 10 bedrooms, an internal and outdoor pool, a library, and an aquarium. The 17th century chateau also reportedly includes fountains, an audio system, lights, and air con, which all might be controlled by an iPhone. The lavish property also encompasses a cellar, movie theater, and a moat with transparent underwater chamber. The royal then reportedly handed over 380 million pounds to Russian vodka tycoon Yuri Shuffler for his super yacht in 2015. The Serene is one of the most important boats in the world, with an overall length of 439 feet and a beam that's 60 feet wide. Ben Salman also loves his art and is rumored to be the owner of a painting worth nearly the maximum amount of his yacht. In 2017, it was reported that someone purchased a 16th century painting for 340 million pounds on behalf of the prince. That sum made the artwork Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi the foremost expensive piece of art ever. The report was denied by auctioneer Christie's, and also the paintings now within the Louvre in the National Capital. Despite his public status, Ben Salman lands a really private, personal life. He is said to be married to Sarah Bent Mashur, referred to as the Barbie Princess in 2008, and they have four kids. But you may be surprised to know that although Saudi Arabia is an absolute monarchy, Saudi Arabia was ranked the 27th happiest country in the world. Saudis enjoy free access to medical care, education from kindergarten to graduate school, and university students get paid $260 a month, subsidized water and gas prices, with one of the cheapest gas prices in the world, free toll roads, no income tax, very safe, and a low crime rate. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, occupied the throne in 2017, and ever since he's been trying hard to be a loyalist, hence tightening the grip on the royal family. According to a new policy, he's cut down the government sources for the lavish living of the princes and the royal family. The assets such as planes, yachts, and arts do require high maintenance, and the princes do require to pay their regular bills as well. And with the curtailing of the state funds that sponsor their extravagant lifestyle up to now, they are under high pressure and scrutiny to either cut down their expenses or sell their assets. An anti-corruption body headed by the crown prince had detained 11 princes, four sitting ministers, and dozens of ex-ministers back in 2017. With the increase of the anti-corruption drive, the royals may also be opting for money instead of visible assets. According to a report, the royal family sold assets worth $600 million across the world, which includes real estate, yachts, art homes, and many other things. And that's going to do it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please click on the like button, share it with all your friends and family, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel too for even more incredible videos. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.